You're as cold as ice, but dum bum bum You're willing to sacrifice my love. Hey guys, as summer starts to wind down, more and more of you are probably gonna start diving into more mileage, whether it's because you're training for a race this fall or just because the temperatures start to get more comfortable and it's a little bit easier to get out there and run longer than it is during the heat of summer. One of the byproducts of adding miles or adding intensity to your training program is that the odds of having to deal with the occasional ache and pain start to creep up. So I'm curious, what do you do when you're dealing with a random ache and pain that's associated with running? Now to be clear, I'm not talking about a, a serious injury, I'm talking more about just that general soreness, achiness, fatigue, things like that, and I'm curious how you deal with it. A lot of people, and runners included, use heat to help try to manage some of the aches and pains and soreness that's associated with running. And while there's a time and a place for heat, too often I hear of people that right after a run want to put a hot pack on or sit in a hot bath or take a hot shower. And honestly, more often than not, that's not quite the right plan of attack. You may not be making anything worse, but you're not giving your body the best chance to minimize the soreness and get you back to feeling healthy and fresh right away. Instead, you might want to think about going to the other end of the extreme and taking advantage of some cold therapy by using ice. Now, ice may not always be the most comfortable thing, but icing sore muscles is a great way to help to calm down some of the inflammation and irritation that goes on that is caused by running and, and training hard. And the quicker that you can calm down your body's natural inflammatory response, the quicker the healing, strengthening, and improvement happens. And honestly, ice is one of the best anti-inflammatories out there. And when it comes to using some type of ice therapy method, there are several options. You can purchase sleeves that are made of some type of gel or some type of, of product that goes in the freezer and you can pull it out every time you use it. And you can actually make your own freezer packs that won't freeze solid. And if you want the recipe for this, all you gotta do is click right here and you can download it for free. But at the end of the day, whenever you're in question and you're dealing with something that's a soreness, ache, pain type of situation, ice is usually the safer bet. And if you have any other questions about ice and the time to use ice and heat and the, the differences between the two, so shoot me an email and let me know and I'll be glad to answer your questions. So until next time, keep running guys. I've seen it before, it happens all the time. Closing the door, you leave the world behind.